This is my best friend Piglet. I mean Pig Gamer 145. I decided to watch Small Soldiers with Gregory Smith. Gregory Smith is a great actor. And it's where they accidentally put these these chips and these toy army people by accident to, well actually they did it to hide these chips and that made these things go nuts and crazy and, and come to life and everything else and they had to try and figure it out to save them. Christina Dumps is also in this where her Barbies go nuts and go crazy on her. It's just a real good movie. You should watch it if you've never seen Small Soldiers. It's Gregory, yeah, it says Gregory Smith from 1998. So, check it out. It's, wait, was it 98 or was it 99? Yeah, 98. So, yeah, great movie. So, I'm watching that this week. So, on Thursdays, I watch Bringing Up Babes, and then I watch this, which is called Growing Up Hip Hop. I watch all those with Bow Wow and uh, Romeo, you know, and Run DMC's kids. It's a great show if you have nothing else to do, nothing else to watch at 8 o'clock. It's interesting at time, and you're bored, and you want something new to entertain yourself with. This is a good show. It's basically about these famous, they have famous parents and then they become famous because of their parents and they become singers and rappers and whatevers and I will, I don't remember her name but she's in quarantine and she posted I guess on one of her social medias a drink and this guy with the dreads he's like what drink is that and she goes oh it's a quarantini you get it because she's in quarantine quarantini well anyways they since they're in quarantine and can't do episodes right now they were um they before the episode starts they talk about the episode and what happened and what was going on and then the episode goes which is something new they're doing but i really like the gold yellow eyeshadow that's going on with her eyes they're really pretty but yeah so I've been getting into that lately, you know, because I'm a Bow Wow and Romeo fan, Romeo Miller, Master P, you know, his dad. And I'm also bringing on Bates is another one that I'm getting into. So you should check those out. Oh yeah, I forgot. Me and my mom watched Twister over the weekend with Bill Paxton. I forgot about that. And I love Twister. What the fuck? Can you believe this jerk? This jerk is getting handcuffed, going to jail for something bad he did, and he screams out, Please let me go! You got coronavirus! And I'm like, what the fuck, dude? What's that gonna stop him from handcuffing you and taking you to jail, dum-dum? That doesn't make any sense. This is on a show called Daily Mail TV. Come on, show us the fucking 90s. Stop the 2018 and the 2019 episodes. We've seen these. These are fresh in our mind. Show us the 90s. We don't want to see their wedding again. And see, well, we get to see the original Mina. That's cool, Mom. Come on. And we get to see Drew, so that's kind of cool. But come on. Whoa, whoa. Oscar's alive? It's our prom philosophy. Akuna Matata. Prince is to death. Time that I farted. Wait, are you gonna stop me? A whole new world. I can show you the world. 
shining, shimmering, splendid. Tell me, princess, now, when did you left? Let your heart decide. I can open your eyes. Take you under by wonder. Over sideways and underneath the magic carpet ride a whole new world, a new fantastic point of view. You think I'm a girl that has everything? For this throw treasures untold. How many wonders can I? Blah. This is hard to read. Sure, she's got everything. I've got gadgets and gadgets up Everything they are in the floor. I got 20. But who cares? No big deal. I want more. I want to be where the people are. I want to see, I want to see the sin. Walking around on these, blow them, oh, feet. So, I hold back anymore. Let it go, let it go. Can we sing the song? We gotta do all this fancy bowl crap that's cool looking. Stubby time, stubby time, stubby time. Okay, I cannot sing that fast. I'll wait until the other song is played. We got the alidocious. Too fast, I can't read it that fast. The telepathic expiatorious, the telepathic expiatorious, the telepathic expiatorious. For the Disney sing-along, the first one was better than the second because the first one had better singers, better song picks. This one well, it had a few songs and Olaf and people singing, you know. But most of the songs I was like. Huh? I never heard of the song because I don't watch those Disney shows. And then when they played that Peter Pan song, Your Mother and Mine, they didn't have the words on the screen. It's like, how can we sing along without the words? And I love that Peter Pan, the cartoon version. That one's like my all-time favorite Peter Pan movie. My second favorite is with Jeremy S. And my third favorite is Hook with... Robin Williams and yes I count Hook as Peter Pan because you know it wasn't titled Peter Pan it was Peter Pan and those are the only three Peter Pans I will watch but over the weekend me and my mom did watch Milk Money where these three boys tried to seduce a girl and then she feels Sorry for them. Well, not seduced, but like see her naked because they wanted to see a naked girl. She takes them home. She's a hook. She's a prostitute. She takes the boys home. Her car gets <clears throat> stuck, and then things happen. But the boy, I can't remember the names of the boys, but the one with the leather jacket, he was Robbie in Seven Heaven. And then the uh, stinky boy, he was, he's in the Adams family. 
at that, the one with the camp, whatever, and then there was another girl that was in this movie that was a mean girl in Casper, but she wanted the guy with the leather jacket. Anyways, it's a good movie. I thought I'd put it at the end of this one. I'm not doing the whole, each week, this is what I'm watching. Because I didn't even do last week's yet. Which, and nobody's watching them anyways. Nobody's commenting on them. So why should I bother? If you miss them, let me know in the comments down below. And if you start commenting on my videos, maybe I'll put more effort into my videos. And posting more and editing them more and doing the week to week thing. Because nobody's commenting on it so I don't feel like I should put effort in it anyways that is all I just wanted to say that the Disney sing-along the first one was better than the second one not because they had high school musical all of this together but because they just had better people better songs anyways talk to y'all later later headers good golly miss Molly Little Richard, he, I just found out he passed away. How sad. I mean, it's so sad. He died, Ben Stiller's dad died from Seinfeld, um, from Segan and Roy. Roy died of, of the virus, but Richard died of the same thing my grandma died of, of five years ago, which is Cancer in the Bones, which really sucks, because I love his music, I loved him on Full House, when he did a couple, of, I think he did one scene, I'm not sure, but he sung a lot of good songs, and he will be missed by me, because I love his music, so that's so sad. I was about to put my bed out there. Damn, he's got to be old if he's from the 50s. Jesus Christ. Good God, I'm